Hello guys and welcome back to episode 3 of the Spring Boot Security course. Today we're going to talk about authorities and roles in the context of Spring Security. Before we begin the course I would like to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel in order to stay tuned for more software development courses that will sharpen your programming skills. Now if you go back to authorities and roles, well the concept is pretty simple. In a in spring security context, granted authorities and roles are a form of expressing privileges or permissions for an authenticated user. So uh, if the user is not authenticated, there is no point in discussing about these two concepts. Now, we express both authorities and roles using plain old names. For example, uh, if we discuss about granted authorities, uh, one of them can be read the profile of a user. Another authority can be the edit profile for the user, or delete the profile, or access a public API. It's basically a list of permissions that the user has inside our application. Roles, on the other hand, are also expressed using plain names, and they sound something like role admin, which basically sig signifies um, the um, all the things that the admin can do inside our app or role user, or role sales, or role management. Please take a look and notice the subtle difference in naming. In, sp in a Spring Security context, we can name granted authorities any way we want, but for example, for the roles, we have to prefix the name of the role with the role keyword. So that's why all the roles sound the same, role admin, role user, role sales. And you'll see in a future episode that this thing is pretty important when we uh, grant access for different parts of our application. Now, aside from the naming, roles and authorities also differ in granularity. Uh, authorities are very small pieces of uh, permission. They are very granular, you know, uh, like you saw, read API, modify API. And roles are a particular kind of an authority. Roles are more coarse, you know, they are bigger. Like role admin could group all the permissions that uh, a person who is an, ad an administrator has, or role sales. Now, these are the subtle differences between roles and authorities when we discuss about Spring Boot. And we will see when we start to configure security for our app that um, this subtle difference it's something that you need to take into consideration when specifying access or privileges for various resources in your application. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.